All right, so now there's some more Pokemon drama going on. Apparently, a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer, I think he's mostly known for YouTube, though. He does, like, pranks and stuff like that, and he's got a pretty big following. I think around, like, 3 million subs. He decided he was going to go after Pokimain, and it was pretty clear he went after her just to start some drama and get people's attention and get people talking about him. You know, he didn't really have any valid criticism of her. It was more just like, I'm going to get attacked this person because I know she doesn't handle this kind of stuff well, and I know this is going to get people's attention. So I'm not completely sure on the timing of events here. It's hard to keep up with everything. But I think he, the first excuse he used to really go after her was the fact that she said the N-word, like, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. And then on Twitch, I think he told all of his fans to go, like, spam her chat. Like, he rated her stream, and he told them to go spam, like, W or Ratio or some shit like that. And this is also right after this guy got verified on Twitch. So this seems like some kind of publicity stunt. And I mean, that's exactly what it is. And most people are aware of that. And I'm sure he'd even say that. And also during all this, apparently he was on Aiden Ross's live stream. And he's talking about how all of Pokimane's fans are just like horny dudes that just watch her. And they want to be with her. And they want to be her boyfriend and want to have sex with her and everything. And he's also like talking about how she has a boyfriend. And she's having sex with him every night. And the viewers really have no chance with her so then this dude who's stirring up all the drama he gets banned from twitch for like two weeks i think for doing all this shit to Pokimane. And now, of course, every Twitch streamer has to jump in and come to her side and try to defend her. And the guy who got banned, he's kind of doubling down on it. Like, he changed his profile picture on Twitter to Pokimane's face without makeup on. But then he also said, uh, on a serious note, I'm gonna take this L because what I did really was against terms of service. But that comeback stream is going to be something, some pressure. Love y'all boys, banger drop in Sunday. So he's still kind of going after Pokimane with the whole profile picture thing. But I don't think he's really going to come back to Twitch and continue talking about her because he knows he'll probably just get banned. Unless he just wants to get banned and doesn't care, which is, I guess that's a possibility. All right, so now I'm going to give my opinion on this whole situation. I think I have all the facts. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. But I think I have a pretty good idea of what's going on here. So this guy, he definitely definitely deserved a ban on Twitch. You know, even he admitted that. I think him rating her stream is really what did it. And that's like what deserves the ban here because I think he had a lot of people watching him. Like this guy's actually, he's a pretty big deal. And honestly, he's probably gonna come out of this with even more followers because his content, you know, it's prank content, but I'd say it's definitely funnier than most of the other YouTubers out there. And even Hassan, like Hassan was obviously defending Pokimane hard, but he was saying, this guy's funny. And he's like, it's too bad he has to do this because he's actually a funny guy. And it's funny because Hassan actually learned about him through all this Pokimane drama. So, I mean, this guy, this is working for him. Like this, all this drama he started, he's definitely gonna come out ahead here. Like a lot of people are defending Pokimane and trying to make him look like a bad guy, but he's definitely gonna come out ahead here. And that's another point to make. Sometimes with this cancel culture shit, people white knight too hard and they make like too big of a deal about something that's actually you know it's not that serious and then the person who did something wrong benefits from it and that's probably what's going to happen here so this guy he deserved the ban he deserved to get some backlash you know i think what he did you know it's definitely rude it's kind of mean and everything and he's kind of just trolling her and i guess maybe you can consider it a very minor form of harassment but people are definitely going overboard with this and people are like oh this is misogynistic and this is harassment and this guy like is just a terrible person it sucks that Pokimane has to deal with this kind of stuff and I think the people that are turning it into something this serious are just trying way too hard just like this guy was trying way too hard to try to get some attention by going after Pokimane these guys are trying way too hard to get attention by defending Pokimane and they're trying way too hard to just look like the good guy and look like they're just trying to stand up for some poor little girl who can't do anything she can't defend herself we need to help her and stand up for her like I agree people should say what this guy did was wrong and everything but to say he's like harassing her and he's misogynistic and he's like a piece of shit and to just act like this is some really serious thing that we all need to stand up for I think you just need to take it easy a little bit and I think it's kind of misogynistic to act like this is such a helpless girl and everyone needs to come to her defense and everyone needs to make an example out of this guy and be like you see what's going on here this is what women have to deal with all day long like this is a girl who's on the internet like she makes a living on the internet and on the internet people attack you all the time like it feels like nothing's off limits like everyone will talk about each other 
you know obviously I, I agree the rating thing he shouldn't have done i mean he shouldn't have done any of it but it's not that bad like this is the internet like look at ethan klein this is what he does for a living like just attacks people like unwarranted he'll just make up stories about people like logan paul he started a rumor that logan paul was addicted to opioids and all of his friends hate him and he's like insanely depressed and he'll make fun of people for being addicted to drugs he'll make fun of people for being like a closeted gay person he thinks it's funny that they're probably gay and i mean all he does is make fun of people that like have nothing to do with him like he'll just start something out of nowhere like that this is his whole deal and this is just the internet so this guy getting banned from twitch for like rating her stream and talking about her sex life or whatever this is just another day on the internet it shouldn't be that much drama it's like all right this guy's kind of an asshole let's continue on and i know pokimane has taken a lot of heat in the past but again this is just the internet this is like what comes with being on the internet and this is why people go after her because they know she's so sensitive like this is a girl with millions of followers like she's probably one of the biggest twitch streamers i'd imagine I think she can fight her own battles. Like, she doesn't need so many people coming to her defense. And if you're going to be a public figure on the internet, you're probably going to have to have some thick skin. And if you're really sensitive, people are probably going to go after you. Like, people are trolls on the internet because it works. Like, nobody's going to troll somebody if they know it's not going to work at all. Or if they do, they're just going to waste their time and it's not going to work and they're going to feel like they're unsuccessful. But when somebody trolls somebody and it works this well, then people are going to want to do it more and more. Like, when people see that all these these people need to come to Pokimane's defense over like the smallest issue ever. I mean, it just looks sad and pathetic. And again, I think people should be able to point out that what happened was wrong and be like, yeah, this guy's kind of an asshole and Pokimane gets some hate that she doesn't deserve. But to use all this to virtue signal and make it look like this is somebody who's like a misogynist and this guy's a piece of shit and everything and to act like Pokimane's this innocent person that nobody should ever talk about. And if you do, you're just harassing her is just ridiculous. Like this is the internet this is what people do all day long but obviously there is a point where it is like more serious and they're really harassing the person but this is not it like this is not like some really serious thing going on here and i think this proves why people go after pokimane it's so easy to get under her skin it's so easy to get everyone worked up like in terms of things that people have to deal with and hate people have to deal with on the internet this just seems like some pretty average stuff like the worst thing that happened here is i think the guys fans probably like commented or sent her some dms like being mean to her you know which i'm sure any famous person on the internet has to deal with so let's hear what he had to say about her exactly because people are upset by this too so let's check it out if you're from <laughs> pokimane's chat yeah and you have a penis i'm gonna tell you this right now she is not gonna fuck you bro i don't care how much you donated i don't care how many hours you watch her she is not gonna fuck you bro she has a man's bro you you probably don't want to hear this you probably don't want to hear this you probably don't want to hear this but i'm sorry i'm gonna break the fourth wall and spoiler alert she's getting dicked down every night by another nigga all right so i think this is a clip that people are really upset with like i don't really know i couldn't find that much like in terms of like video or audio of him saying something controversial but i guess this is sexist or something the fact that this guy said that her followers just want to date her and have sex with her and she has a boyfriend that she probably has sex with and obviously Obviously, you know, he said it a little more explicitly, but is it really necessary for everyone just to flip out about this? Like, I expected to see something a lot worse, like, after seeing people talk about how terrible this is. Like, unless there's something I'm missing here, this doesn't seem too bad. I mean, I expected him at least to be like, she's only where she is because there's just a bunch of horny dudes watching her jerking off. Like, I expected at least something like that. I guess now it sounds like if you even get close to talking about how guys watch girl streamers just because they're horny, then you're a misogynist. Like, what this guy said just seems like internet banter. Like, this guy is attacking her fan base or whatever, and this doesn't even seem that insulting towards her. Like, just saying that her fans want to have sex with her. Like, oh, that's such a terrible thing. And again, do I think that this guy should be doing this kind of stuff? No, like continually attacking her for really no valid reason. I think that's stupid. And that's why it looks so bad on this guy's part because he attacks some girl who's like just minding her own business. And it feels like he's just trying to pick on some girl he likes or he's jealous of her or something, you know, it feels like one of those situations. But also at the same time, I don't think this is that offensive. And I don't think this guy is a misogynist for saying this kind of stuff. And if you can't handle somebody saying that you're fan want to have sex with you or you have sex with your boyfriend i feel like you shouldn't be on the internet like if you need so many people to defend you and you get like so offended by this the internet probably isn't the best place for you 
like obviously i wish it was a nicer place and everything like that but there's always gonna be mean people on there and what this guy said is like nothing compared to what people have to deal with on the internet and again if you want to call this stuff out like there's nothing wrong with that but don't try to make it into something that it's not like let's take a look at some people's reactions to this so first we got ms kiff i don't know if anybody has an opinion on him but i think this dude is just spineless and i know exactly what he's doing here in the past he said some stuff that actually could be considered misogynistic and racist and all that so now he has to overcompensate which is a lot of people nowadays like ethan klein who i'll get to in a second and also the way i feel like a lot of people work on the internet is they see an issue like this and they're like oh i need to prove that i'm a good person like it's not like they're doing it for the right reasons or anything or to help pokimane it just feels like they're doing it to virtue signal like ms kiff is friends with ethan klein and I can point out a million times that Ethan Klein has said something that could be considered more misogynistic than what this guy said. And do you think you'd ever call Ethan out? Of course not, because they're on the same side. Like, they're never going to call each other out. They're only going to use somebody that they don't really know to make an example out of them. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know, I could be wrong about this, but I think, well, Ethan had on Trisha Paytas, Trisha said, like, some terrible shit on the front of me's podcast about Charlie D'Amelio, who I think is, like, 16 or 17 at the time. And, of course, all their fans, like, all of Ethan's and Trisha's fans, like, started saying terrible shit to her. And she uploaded a video of herself, like, breaking down, crying. And I think Trisha was criticizing her for, like, the same kind of thing that a lot of people criticize female creators for, you know, like, just being successful and you don't really have a talent and you're just successful because you're good looking. Like, I think it was that kind of thing. And she was just calling her, like, slow, I'm pretty sure. Like, she said some pretty insulting things to her. And this is a girl who's, like, 16 or something like that. And she starts crying. And I don't think Ethan really said anything to Trisha about it. I don't think anybody really talked about it. Like, why did nobody care then? If you haven't noticed, they only care when it's convenient. Like, when they can make money off of it or when it affects them, they're not going to complain about it. But when it's somebody else that's out of their circle, then, of course, they're going to white knight and virtue signal and act like they're extremely offended and act like this poor girl's helpless and she can't do anything on her own. That's how you play the game. Like, Pokimane, she's been on the internet for a while now, and she's a grown woman, and I think she should be able to handle this. I don't think we need so many people sticking up for her. All right, so let me just get to this tweet already. So, Ms. Kiff, he said, sad how Pokimane still has to deal with misogyny and harassment in 2022. All right, so from what I've read and what I've seen, I can't find anything that proves that this guy was going after Pokimane just because she was a girl. Maybe there is something out there that I'm missing, but it just seems like he's going after her because she's an easy target, basically. It's like everyone knows you can get a reaction from her, so they go after her. All right, so now let me get to the second half of the tweet. He says, and it's even more sad how I have to say this publicly because people are afraid to stand up. Oh, yeah, people are afraid to stand up. That's what's going on now. There's not enough people standing up for Pokimane right now. Like, what the fuck is going on here? It's the exact opposite. People are too ready to point out, like, misogyny and stuff like that. Like, people are jumping at the opportunity to do it almost every twitch streamer on twitter said something like this like this is not like some brave thing that he's doing here this kind of thing just seems cowardly at this point because it seems like somebody who wants to prove that they're a good person they want to seem like they're doing the right thing so they throw somebody under the bus who you know this guy what he did it's not great you know and he definitely shouldn't have done it but to turn this into some giant thing about misogyny and harassment and how like you can't believe that this is still going on like pokimane is going to be dealing with this kind of stuff for the rest of her career like pretty much anyone on the internet like this is just what comes with being an internet personality and also what this guy did is not even a very good example of that people on the internet criticize each other all day long but then all of a sudden you go after a girl and then you're out of line so now let's move on to what what Hassan had to say because everyone knows he has the best takes with stuff like this. The only part I see that was like, oh my god, I have my mouth open was when I have my mouth open. Bobo, tell me, tell me I was lying. Is she not getting dicked down by another man? Tell me I'm lying. Like, yes, but I don't think she talks about that on stream. Like that is so that's weirdo behavior, dude. You sound like you frequent like incel forums, dude. That is so that's so weird, dude. What it is not your business Swag. what the why is saying pokimane is having sex with a guy the craziest thing ever and like this taboo thing that nobody should ever say like even if she doesn't put that stuff out there it's not the craziest thing in the world to bring up like has hassan never talked about somebody else's sex life 
that he doesn't know about like has he never been like oh that girl's definitely having sex with that guy or something like that like people say this shit all day long it's nothing new it's crazy like people who've been on the internet forever act like this is the first day they've ever been on the internet like wow some guys talking about how girls having sex with somebody what that's terrible what a misogynist like if i wanted to and if i had the time i could probably put together like a hundred clips of hassan talking about some girl's sex life that she likes to keep private and she doesn't really talk about publicly like this is nothing new and people do this all day long it's just because it's pokimane and she acts like she's a toddler now we all have to care i feel like hassan is just making it way too obvious here that this is just fake outrage like does he really care if this was some other girl would he really care he just cares because this is his grift pokimane is his friend and she acts like a kid so everyone thinks she's fragile and you need to defend her and it's just this is just pathetic what's going on here like if i said that uh like somebody that hassan hates like candace owens i bet if i said she's out there having sex with like 10 guys a night like 10 random guys hassan would not even care at all like i'm sure he said something like that like doesn't he react to caitlin bennett videos or whatever that girl's name is like are you telling me he's never said something that could be considered misogynistic about her like this is how the game's played if somebody says something about you or somebody you like then you just label them like racist or misogynist or sexist or whatever and then people will think you're a good person for calling this stuff out and they think that person's a piece of shit and then you can get away with saying some edgy stuff towards people you don't like because they're on the other team it's just so funny how things work because people on the internet it's like they're at war like all day long they're gonna be taking shots at somebody and then all of a sudden someone takes a shot at them and it's like what you can't do that that's not fair you're actually being mean i just feel like nobody can act rationally anymore and everyone wants to play the victim because it works half the time how do you not see that that's just like gross dude i mean straight up that's it like you sound obsessive dude please yeah that's just like gross dude what are you talking about dude nobody ever talks about people having sex that's completely out of line like didn't hassan used to have a segment called bro talk or bro tips or something where he talked about if uh lady gaga had a penis or something and he'd talk about like the hot chick of the week and how to get laid in college and stuff like that like this guy is not the one to talk and i know all this stuff is a while ago but has he addressed it or apologized for it? I highly doubt it. You know, maybe he has, but a lot of these people, they don't apologize for anything because they don't need to. You know, these people on their side, they don't give a shit about their past. They like them now. They, they're they not going to leave their team. Like, this is too much of a team game now. So here's another clip that I just wanted to play really quick of Hassan talking about like why this guy went after Pokimane because, like I said earlier, he used the excuse of her saying the N-word like, I don't know, five or six years ago. And Hassan's pointing out that she's changed and she obviously doesn't say it anymore. People have the capacity to change. And if you think that like Pokimane is the type of person that's still is, like dropping N bombs, soft A uh, or not, you're a delusional person. Like that's insane. I did not say that at all. It's your friend. So she's changed copium. Yeah, exactly. No, that's what it is. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm running defense for my friends. And this is not, this is not uh, something that I have, I've been a firm believer no, no one has the capacity to change again. All right, so he's acting like Pokemon changed and people have the capacity to change, which is true. But, you know, most people, they only change when you like them. Like, that's exactly Hassan's logic because there's a lot of people, like I'll play in a second, that he thinks are still racist because of something they'd done a long time ago. Like, I remember on Leftovers, he said, uh, like, Sarah Silverman has no right to talk about something race being racist because she did blackface, like, 20 years ago or whatever. All right, so here's a perfect example of something like this. He's talking about Keemstar, who, you know, I don't like. I'm not a big fan of his, but I haven't heard him say the N-word, like, in uh, who knows how long. I don't think he says it that much anymore. Like, I don't think he said it in the past, like, four or five years, I'd imagine. You know, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I don't think Keemstar goes around saying the N-word all the time. Do not come. Why don't they have the same energy for actual races like Keemus with a hard R multiple times? Yeah, well... Yeah, it's his catchphrase. That's not like... All right, so you can't bring up that Pokimane said the N-word like five years ago or whatever. You can't use that against her anymore. But Keemstar, he says the N-word basically every day. That's his catchphrase. So that comment about Hassan that he read earlier about how he's just sticking up for Pokimane because he's her friend. Like, that's somewhat accurate. That's how these things work. And he pretty much just proved it there. Like, Keemstar, he doesn't like, so he goes around saying the N-word all the time. 
Pokimane, he likes her, so you're out of your mind if you think she says the N-word. And also, he's just like, oh, she's a good person. We all know she's a good person. Like, no, she's a fake person. Th that's why people criticize her, because we don't know what she's really like. Like, you can tell she's putting on an act, and, like, she's trying to be all, like, positive and stuff, and it just doesn't seem genuine. Like, that whole thing of, like, oh, I love everyone, we shouldn't be mean to each other, like, it just seems fake and overdone, and it just doesn't seem genuine. And then Keemstar, which I don't like the guy, but everyone looks at him as an asshole and a racist so like continuing to call him that it's just like all right what's new and it doesn't seem like you're gonna let him change it all and it just seems like you keep shoving it in his face that he said the n-word once and also people label keemstar as an asshole and he acts like an asshole so it seems like he's a genuine person with pokimane it seems like uh, she acts like she's 10 years old and acts like a little kid and she wants people to think that she's all innocent and she's just trying to be the nicest person ever and all that stuff and she just doesn't seem like a genuine person and like just the fact that if you bring up her boyfriend everyone loses their mind or like her having sex with somebody like that shows that people are just way too sensitive with her and she can handle some criticism this is a girl who's worth millions of dollars extremely successful she plays video games for a living I mean, if you can't handle a little criticism now and then, then honestly, she probably shouldn't be on the internet. Like, if she was really affected by this and I was her friend, I'd probably just say, like, maybe you shouldn't be on the internet because on the internet, you get so much hate. Like, no matter what you do, you're probably going to get some hate. And if you can't handle somebody saying that you have sex with your boyfriend or your fans want to have sex with you, then, I mean, what are you doing here? And I'm not just saying this to be a tough guy or try to be hard on her. Like, if this guy was saying... Like, she should not be playing video games. Like, she's just some stupid bitch that plays video games all day, and her talent is she's good looking. Like, if he said something like that, I'd be like, yeah, this guy's an asshole. And I'd say people have the right to be upset there, and I'd be okay with people calling it out. But what people are doing now, it's like they're just looking for something to be wrong, and they're looking to virtue signal and try to show that they're a good person and all that bullshit. And it's just desperate, and it's sad, and it's hard to watch. Like, these people need to get a fucking grip. Like, this is a grown woman. I'm sure she can handle handle some guy talking about how she has sex like if you can't handle that then you should not be on the internet i'm sorry like that is nothing that's crazy and it's funny because ethan klein who i'm gonna get to he was a big fan of howard stern i'm sure he's still a big fan of howard stern and howard stern are you kidding me that dude he's the most sexist person probably like in the history of pop culture like all he does is talk about women's looks and who he wants to have sex with and how women only get roles because they're good looking like i wouldn't be surprised if he's still saying this kind of stuff and i wouldn't be surprised if ethan laughed at this stuff he's only saying like these people are only saying this because they're virtue signaling and it makes themselves feel good and it makes people think that they're good people and it's just like, oh, I hope people can see through the bullshit one day. And also, I'd like to know, like, who Hassan or Mizkif or H3 or any Twitch streamer that talked about this, like, whose mind they're changing with these tweets. Or do they think they're actually doing something here? Because if they do, that's just hilarious. Everyone is just preaching to the choir. And that's how the internet has gotten at this point. It's just everyone just recycling the same points of view. And it's just a giant circle jerk trying to make each other feel better. I mean, it's like, it feels like the Oscars almost are like some kind of award show where they all get up there and they talk about like political or like social movements. And then they give each other awards and they're like, we're all good people, right? Yeah, like that's what it always feels like. Like, no, you're a bunch of fucking rich, spoiled kids that get all sensitive over somebody talking about a girl's sex life like that's what's going on here just because you call this kind of stuff out does not mean you're a good person i mean it just means you're spineless it just means like you like throwing people under the bus just to make yourself feel better and gain more popularity and you want people to think that you're a good person and it's just so old at this point like is the logic here if a guy says that a girl's fans want to have sex with her then that means they're a misogynist or something like that like is that all it takes because what if you say an OnlyFans model's fans want to have sex with her? Like, that's just a fact. I mean, th th there's no other reason to pay for an OnlyFans model. And also, when it comes to Twitch and a lot of things in life, the better looking you are, the more successful you're going to be. And I'm not saying Pokemate's whole career is because she's good looking, but that's definitely a big part of it. Like, go on Twitch right now. I'm sure you see just all good looking girls. Like, that's a big part of it, unfortunately. Like, if you're some ugly girl, it's not going to be easy to blow up on there. You're some really hot girl, it doesn't take much to blow up on there. Like, I remember I found this girl, like, last year, like, halfway through the year. I barely go on Twitch, but I decided to go on there one day. And I see this girl with, like, 40 people following. And she was a hot girl. And I'm like, wow, like, this is surprising. Why does she have more followers? And she said it's because she started, like, earlier that week. 
And then I go back a month or two later, I look at her, she's got a couple thousand people watching and she's got over a hundred thousand subscribers or followers or whatever. And she has like no real talent. Like she even admitted like a few times that she's not entertaining. And she's like, do people really enjoy this? Like I'm not even doing anything here. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do, but I guess people are watching. Like this girl, all she had to do is literally sit there and unfortunately that, that's a big part of the market horny dudes are a huge market and i don't blame anybody for taking advantage of that like pokemates followers i'm sure a lot of them want to be her boyfriend like that's just a fact just like how a lot of people that follow Mizkif and Ludwig and Hassan, they want to be their friends. Like, that's how Twitch is. People are watching because they want to feel like they're a part of their life. And it's so funny seeing this whole battle go down because everyone's just like, your fan base is full of incels. No, your fan base is full of incels. It's like, how about both your fan bases are fucked up and people are fucked up? Like, the guy who attacked Pokimane, I'm sure his fan base is full of a bunch of crazy kids that are probably saying some sexist and, like, even racist. Like, I'm sure they're just off the hook. Like, these kids i'm sure they're saying whatever they want they just want to attack somebody and then pokemon's fan base is full of a bunch of people that are like white knighting for her and they all want to try to get her attention and they're all like we're good people we stick up for girls and blah 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 it's just nobody wants to really hear the truth like a lot of pokemon's fan base i'm sure are a bunch of desperate guys that really just want to have sex with her and if she had her boyfriend on every stream and she just talked about him and always brought him up they probably wouldn't watch her and it's the same thing with other twitch streamers but in different ways like like, there are desperate guys that want to be Pokemon's boyfriend, and there are desperate guys that want to be Hassan's friend, or Ms. Kib's friend. Like, that's most of the Twitch audience. It's just people looking for people to hang out with, kinda, and be part of their lives, and you know, like, listen to them all day long. And it's the same thing with the guy who attacked Pokemon's followers. Like, his followers just love him so much, they're gonna do whatever. They want to get his attention, they want to hang out with him, they want him to notice them. Like, gaining an audience online is really kind of taking advantage of a bunch of, like, desperate people. You know, I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but it's like the modern day religion. It's like people want to look up to somebody and they want to please somebody. And they want somebody to follow and to tell them, like, what's right and wrong. And it feels like with this guy that attacked Pokemon, everyone's kind of just like, like, no, you're going against like Twitch culture and you can't be mean on here and you can't say stuff like this unless you're Hassan or somebody like Hassan says mean shit all day long. Like, why are we pretending like everyone's a nice person all of a sudden? You know, I hate this shit. It's the worst when people who say offensive shit all the time all of a sudden act like they're the moral authority here and we all need to listen to them because they always know what's right for us. It's like, dude, Hassan's a fucking idiot. He admits that. He's an asshole. He admits that. And people still act like he's got the right idea on everything. The guy's the most privileged person ever going to bat for another extremely privileged person. And these people have no problems in their life. And all they care about is virtue signaling and feeling good about themselves. And they're just grifters taking advantage of a bunch of desperate social justice warriors. Like, oh no, poor Pokimane. She has to deal with a guy talking about how she has sex with her boyfriend. Oh, this poor girl. This poor girl who sits around making making millions of dollars a year playing video games. Let's all feel bad for her because a guy said her fans want to have sex with her and she has sex with her boyfriend. Yeah, that's something to get worked up over, right? Like, are there not enough issues in the world to talk about? Like, I'd imagine there's some worse shit going on than this. Like, it seems like people treat each other pretty well if this is what we're complaining about and this is what everyone's getting worked up over. So let's check out another tweet from a Twitch streamer who's doing the whole virtue signaling thing. All right, so this guy said, child brains like me that's me on the internet think i want to fuck pokimane because i spoke out against blatant misogyny today how's your day going this just feels like a guy trying to make himself feel good like this is so fucking cringy i feel like this tweet could feel the fucking idiots more to be honest sorry about that but like it honestly blows my mind that so many young ass people think that what happened yesterday was okay just trolling joking and that everyone has a problem with it is just sensitive i feel like i'm missing something did i miss something that this guy did that's actually misogynistic or sexist or whatever like somebody tell me in the comments like what else did this guy do or is it really just him talking about how pokemon has sex with uh, her boyfriend is that it if it is then thank god people are speaking out about it we can't handle anybody who speculates on a girl having sex with her boyfriend like what is going on here are, are we all children now like this guy sounds like a child and i'm sure some of the guy's followers the guy who's attacking pokemon i'm sure some of his followers did say some actual sexist stuff and say some mean stuff 
but again like that's the internet like it shouldn't happen i wish it didn't happen but people are going to be mean to each other on the internet and i feel like if you're going to complain about it you should wait till it escalates a little more not just like a guy rating her and then a guy saying that she has a boyfriend or whatever like i feel like you should wait to hit for him to actually say something misogynistic it just seems like everyone was too ready to call somebody out and they kind of jumped the gun here it's like oh we got a bad guy finally we have somebody to complain about and we can all virtue signal and talk about how good we are for calling this shit out and also now are we saying that creators are responsible for what their fans are doing like so many fans harass people all day long like h3 fans those people are out of their goddamn minds they just spend like i, I guarantee you, like almost 50 percent of their day just attacking ryan kavanaugh and trisha paytas all right so here's another tweet and again this just feels like a giant circle jerk and everyone's like yeah we're good for doing this right we're doing our part today so this person said, unfortunate how a creator whose content involves around harassment, hatred, ultimately gives them the attention exposure they want at the expense of others. Misogyny this in this industry is not new and obviously not okay. Nothing but love and respect for Pokey, plus everyone speaking out against it. Well, guess what? Everyone's speaking out against it and you for tweeting this, you're giving the guy the exposure. Like that's what's happening here. People are gonna be like, oh, what happened? Then people talk about this and they see the guy's name. Like everyone knows this guy now. This shit worked. Like everyone's feeding right into it. And it's not like any of these tweets are gonna change anyone's mind. They're all just talking to themselves basically. And I just wanna say this again, because I know people are gonna be like, oh, you're defending like this terrible behavior and you're attracting incels and you're gonna make people act like assholes and stuff. Listen, I'm against what this guy did. I think this guy's kind of an asshole for what he did. You know, he just went after Pokimane for no reason and he took unnecessary shots at her. So if you 100% agree with what this guy did and you don't think he did anything wrong and you think Pokimane's like just a piece of shit for streaming or whatever, then we're not on the same page and you probably shouldn't follow this channel. Like, I'm just trying to tell it like it is right now. I'm not trying to stick up for anybody. I'm not trying to defend anybody. I'm just trying to say that you know nobody really has the right take here there's a lot of nuance to this and there are too many people that are desperate for attention and approval and they want to overcompensate for stuff they've done in the past and they want to just look like they're good people and they go over the top with it you know there's a good middle ground and these people cannot figure it out and that's with both sides here the guy who attacked pokimane he could have done it the right way like if he was just more joking and like his fans understood that as a joke and they were just trying to be friendly with pokimane and joking around instead of just like saying hateful stuff but also everyone defending pokimane and even pokimane like people are just way too sensitive what happened is not that big of a deal unless i'm missing something you know like i said comment down below let me know if so he this guy did something that's a lot worse that i'm missing all right so this video went a lot longer than i expected but i feel like there are a lot of points i had to make here and i know people are still going to be insanely triggered by this and people are probably going to have a meltdown if this video does well but now i just want to show one more or a couple more tweets by of course ethan klein of course he had to get his grubby hands on this you know Know, this is the perfect topic for him you know he's done a bunch of misogynistic stuff so he has to overcompensate here and white knight and try to defend this girl because he knows he's a piece of shit so he has to make everyone else feel like they're a piece of shit so i feel like whenever ethan jumps on a topic like this he only just makes things look worse for the people he's defending like if pokimane did this or like if all this stuff happened to pokimane and you know like a few twitch streamers came out and supported her i wouldn't really care i'd be like all right that's what i expected but the fact that every single person needs to make it a point it's like all right enough like you beat this shit to death at this point everyone agrees well everyone that you're talking to agrees you know you're not going to change any minds here like that's the biggest thing it's like there's no real point to this and i think they know it they're just doing this because it makes themselves feel good you know i've said it a million times you guys get the point let's go on to the tweet so again this is ethan klein who made the instagram versus reality video like a few years ago where i mean come on that stuff if you think what this guy did is misogynistic that is as well and also i mean he let trisha paytas like bully one of his employees when he's getting death threats and he didn't come to his defense and also he had trisha on his podcast just rambling about whatever and accusing like people of some crazy shit people that have passed away you know she accused the teacher who passed away of like essaying her when she's younger and ethan didn't look into it at all like this guy's brain dead he just goes with whatever you know he can go with to make him some money like this is the whole shtick now he's 
on the SJW trend. And then next year, if the SJW trend fails, then he'll be back on the whole like anti-SJW trend. It's just like, this is the biggest grifter of all time right here. And if we want to talk about misogyny or racism or anything, like I could point out endless examples here. Like obviously his brain dead audience won't understand any of it because this is their cult leader and they can't go against him. But he said a lot of offensive shit. And shit, I don't really have a problem with, but the fact that he has a problem with other people saying the same kind of shit, then I have a problem with it. All right, so let me get back on track here and finally get to this tweet of his. So Ethan Klein said, catching up on this Pokemon controversy is pretty rich. Dude gets banned for hate rating her stream, says and does obvious misogynistic things. Oh, uh, well, if Ethan Klein's saying it's misogynistic, then it's gotta be. And then people like Keemstar, and yeah, it does suck that Keemstar is defending this guy because nobody really wants him on their side. You know, same thing with Ethan Klein. Like, they're the same in that sense. Like, both people should just keep their mouth shut. It's like they're only hurting the cause that they're trying to stick up for. So then he says, Keemstar is blaming her for getting him banned. Fuck all these weak ass men who can't handle themselves. And then I'm sure there are plenty of people in the comments like, oh, Ethan, I'm so happy you're speaking out against this. Like, what is he doing? Is this doing anything? Are you kidding me? Like, wow, Ethan's speaking out against some like minor case of something that might be misogynistic. Like, wow, good for him. Let's give him a fucking medal or something. Like, all Ethan cares about is selling his bullshit clothing that he marks up 800% and his wife designs like a toddler. And then all his desperate fans who don't have any money pay him money. And then he does this kind of stuff to relieve his guilt and make himself feel like he's actually doing something right. You know, like, you're giving the money to the right guy because I stand for the right causes. Like, that's his whole shtick at this point. And if you can't see that, you're just like a mindless drone that is easy to take advantage of. I mean, Ethan gives no shits about you. You. He just cares about making money, becoming popular, and having a good reputation. Alright, so he also posted this. He showed the picture, the guy who attacked Pokimane, he showed his profile picture, and he said, the dude that got banned for harassing Pokimane literally made this his profile picture after getting banned. Get fucked, dude. You're pathetic. Then he said, extra L for exposing yourself, having never had a sleepover with a woman. Also, W for Pokey for looking great without makeup and posting this pic. So this is exactly what you'd expect from Ethan. Like when I was making this video in the beginning, Ethan didn't say anything. And I'm like, where is he? Like he's got to be tweeting about this any second. And then eventually, of course, right on cue, he did this. And, you know, it's exactly what you'd expect. He takes everything over the top and he's like, yeah, get fucked, dude. You're a piece of shit for posting this. You're pathetic. Like dude you guys are all pathetic like the internet is pathetic at this point like let's just all give up you're not doing anything here